Hello, 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 and welcome to Meet. Been a while since we started on this screen, and a couple of interesting models to talk about, so let's skip right to them. <laughs> to start off this week, we're getting the Imperial Agents Codex. This faction is... I didn't even know it was a faction. I thought it was just fancy characters. But anyway, um, they're getting a ton of big boxes. I'm going to skip to the interesting stuff. First of all, they're getting this priest chap. He looks awfully cool. One complaint? His head looks a tad small. I, I, I think maybe it's just this massive metal shoulder pad thing he's got on. But his head just looks a bit small to me. I don't know if that's just me though. But I mean, other than that, the hat's cool. I love all the flowing... Sorry, <coughs> lost my voice a bit there. I love all the flowing sort of tassel bits coming off him. The front cape, the gown. This, this is an awesome model. Look at all this stuff. I don't know what this stick thing is meant to be and it's not really a sword it's a tad close to a mace i have no clue what it's meant to be. it looks like a metal stick looks like he ripped out a piece of scaffolding and is using that as a weapon that's odd i like the little serbato skull or whatever they're called with the gun that's cool i like that and he's holding up his book that's it's, he's a bookworm and he's proud good for him Another model, we're getting a Death Watch guy. Uh, he's, a, he's a reasonably cool Death Watch guy. He's got all the fancy rune shoulder pad and the whole rune arm, really. He's got an alright sword. It says Extermin um, Exterminatus on it. That's a word. He's also got a Bolter Flamer gun. That's lovely. A little halo on his back there, always nice. A, a, an alright Space Marine, you know. He's like your average space marine, but slightly better, you know, better posed, extra little details, you know, he's a slightly fancier Death Watch marine. That's cool. Also getting another priesty chap, uh, Anvil Head. I don't know what's up with this, but I think it looks hilarious and I like it. Got this sort of magical stick staff with an orb on the top, that's cool. The main focus obviously being the hammerhead shark thing on going on I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to be, I mean... It's got a sort of robot face with the two eyes, then a funky little third eye, then a double-headed eagle with the massive rods. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's very funny looking and I like it. It's also got this cool pattern, looks very fancy, looks like the gate at my grandparents' house, that's nice. Long tassely thing going down here, don't know why he's got a tape recorder thingy here. Anyway, a pretty, a pretty cool model. Onto the Blood Angel stuff. I know these came out quite a while ago, but I didn't get a chance to talk about them, so that's what we're doing now. Uh, there's a big Blood Angels box coming. It's got tons of jump pack marines for the Death Company. Tons of sword marines as well, regular assault guys. It's got that one Dreadnought. Can't remember what it's called. The Blood Angels Death Company Dreadnought. It's got that, except it's not actually that. It's just the Brutalist Dreadnought painted differently, which I'm fine with. I, I don't have a complaint about that, that's fine. But it also comes with two new characters. Not new, I'm pretty sure there was already a model for this guy. Two new models for new characters. The first of which being... Chaplin Lamentar... Lam Chaplin Lamartus, the Guardian of the Lost. Oh, this guy's cool. I think this is definitely the coolest skull head we've had... Possibly ever, at least in a while. This is just, a, it's a cool, look, it's got a scream, it's got a tear in it, it's been painted amazingly, this looks cool. His skull shoulder pad on the other hand, I feel like it's a tad small, the actual skull face. I think it should have taken up a bit more of the actual shoulder pad. Let me just quickly, if you look at, how do I rotate it, I really don't like this. Oh there we go. Look at that, that skull takes up most of the shoulder pad. That's much better on the Black Templar Castellan. Very cool model, might get it at some point. Probably not, I lack money. Uh, but look at look at that, the skull takes up way more of the shoulder pad. It's much better. I would have preferred if they did something like that on this guy, but this one's, this one's fine, you know. It's, it's an amazing model, you can't be that nitpicky. As for his jump pack, it's got a classic halo, lovely. I love this sort of metal rib cage he's got going on that's cool the posing is amazing his weird little crozius 
goblet thing, very suited for Blood Angels. Overall, very cool chaplain, very cool name. We also have... Who's this guy? I need to find out his name. Speaking of chaplains... Asdrath, High Chaplain of the Blood Angels. Um, this guy's cool. He's got a sort of white ghost mask face. That looks very creepy and ominous. For a blood angel, he looks like he's not receiving much blood. Uh, I also love this sort of skinned look he's got. Sort of looks like just bare muscle, the way his armour is. That's very cool. His skull shoulder pads, they're alright. I'm... there's a better look. They're alright. I'm not overly happy about them, you know. They're not the best. I don't like all the little skulls. But they're, they're, they're alright, you know. <laughs> <laughs> as for his backpack awesome I love the wings the silhouette is awesome of this guy I like the little wings on his little wing thingies that's cool his axe is painted amazingly and it's just an overall cool pose he even has a fancy tactical rock very nice overall just two cool models for the blood angels over to me to talk about what I did this week then hello it's me again um Here's what I've painted this week. To start off with, we've got the Terminator Captain from last week's me. I asked you guys what colour the cape was, or should have been, and I think a reddish brown was the best thing we've got. I'm pretty happy with it, because I wanted to paint the cape red, but at the same time, I didn't want it to be too bright, because I liked how he looked when it was all dark. But at the same time, black just didn't look good on the cape. And so... Uh, reddish brown faded red desaturated red whatever you want to call it it's pretty good i'm quite happy with it i'll base him up and then you'll probably see a video of him all painted and stuff i've not done a video painting him because i forgot to record and by the time i remembered i'd forgot to record anything i was halfway through anyway i was going to do decals remember that something else i've been doing is my leagues of votan kill team uh, I'm quite happy with them. Progress has been slow because it's summer. And also I recently discovered that Sainsbury's sell a one kilogram bag of M&Ms. So uh, I've been preoccupied. Sorry to interrupt, but it is to my understanding that I have a rather large US viewership. So just to quickly elaborate on what I just said for them, Sainsbury's is UK Walmart and one kilograms is what Americans would consider a child's or small portion. Uh, back to the video. But anyway, here they are. I'm thinking they're, they're pretty good. Most of the main areas are base coated. All that's left is all their guns and feet, heads. I've left their heads unattached because I'm thinking for the heads, I'm going to do what I did for my Felgor Ravengers, which is a red and white Zenithal base red, zenithal white, and then just going with washes, because I think that looks pretty good for skin. I'm going to give that a try. So this video might come out this week, might come out next, nah, I can't speak today, might come out this week, might come out next week, it will definitely be soon. After that, I'm thinking of moving on to my Imperial Navy Breachers kill team, which I did an unboxing of just the other day. Uh, so subscribe to see that. See you guys later. Goodbye.